Good morning. I'm back at Estacio Vineyards. It is Wednesday, August 11th, around 8 a.m. And I am here to check the progress on the Sangiovese and the Sauvignon Blanc again. And today I am also going to take samples. So today we're seeing a lot more color development in the Sangiovese compared to 12 days ago when we were here last. Uh, on July 30th, we were looking at 30 to 35% verasion. Today, I would probably put this more in the 95, 90 to 95% category. Um, but of course, color is only one aspect. Taking samples and tasting these grapes will give us a full picture. So I have my trusty Ziploc here, and I'm starting to collect grapes from Every other vine, of course, I want to be random with my sampling. So I try to grab a couple grapes from this side of the row, and then I cross over, take a few samples from this side of the row, and then I cross back over. And I do this for probably two to three rows for a sample of about 180 or so grapes. Uh, so I have a bit to go. So I collected my sample in the Sangiovese block and have walked over to the Sauvignon Blanc. So the Sauvignon Blanc has definitely progressed over the last 12 days. Um, the grapes are much softer, easier to pull off the stem and um, are starting to turn that golden color that I was looking for. Last week I made the mistake to taste some of this really green Sauvignon Blanc. Today, I'm going to try it again. Mm, much better. Actually, really good. They're still a little bit underripe in terms of the so-called green flavors. Um, and watery a little bit. So I think they're on their way to some flavor development, but um, still a ways to go. Uh, so tasting is one part of it. I'm going to grab a sample and then bring them back to the winery and show you how to test sugars. See you in a bit. Now we're back at the winery. I have the Sauvignon Blanc sample, the Sangiovese sample, some glassware, and our refractometer with which we're going to measure sugars. In a first step, we're going to crush these grapes and squeeze as much juice out of them as possible, mimicking the pressing process. Now that we have pressed these grapes and got a fair amount of juice out of them, I'm gonna pour it into the speaker. Okay, we have the juice in the beaker and we're gonna pour just a little bit onto the refractometer and push read. 22.2 bricks. Oh boy, we're getting close, really close. My target for Sauvignon Blanc is typically anywhere between 22.5 and 23.5 bricks. And then for good measure, I'm gonna taste it. Pretty good, really good. Look at this gorgeous color. Twenty point eight. Oh boy, ready to pick. Let's pick tomorrow. Well, twenty point eight is low for white wine and for red wine, but it's a little bit high for sparkling. And because we're using this part of our Sangiovese for um, our sparkling wine sorpresa, my target is 18 to 19 bricks for um, the base wine. And I will talk a little bit more about sparkling wine and its production in a later video. Thank you for joining me in the vineyard today while I was sampling and in the lab while I was running sugars. Next up, picking.